Hello, hey guys. <laughs> so I guess you know and what topic I'm gonna be talking about. Um, talking about depression. I had depression since I was a kid, all the way until adulthood. But I have never seen a doctor or anything. But uh, I was struggling a lot, and I <laughs> I didn't tell anyone. Uh, not many people know that I have depression, but um, how I know I got depression is I actually went to Google about depression and I got all the listed symptoms inside uh, about depression, and I think it's a very big taboo or avoided subject in Singapore, especially when. Um, Singapore is actually quite a competitive country, so in workplace, in school, everybody is just competing against each other. Who is the top scorer? Who is the, the one with the biggest sales or the one who is best at doing their job? And a lot of people don't admit it, I guess, but um, I'm going to go with um, why um, depression or... Depression is a taboo or avoided subject, especially in Asia and in Singapore. I guess it's because depression is sort of like a mental illness. And if you tell people that you have depression, and then some people will think, Oh, I think you're a very weak person or... I think you're a very weak person. That's why you can't handle stress. You become depression. Actually, it's it's not really that. It's not really true. I had depression since I was a kid, and usually, basically, depression is caused by many different events that keep on continuing and it just kind of break down into uh something that's uncontrollable. And also there might be some people who think that Oh, wow, you got depression, you must be crazy Actually, no <laughs> It's not true <laughs> There are some people who think Oh, all mental illness means crazy, you know And people who have depression will have psychotic episode. They'll go around, take a knife and start killing people That's not true at all <laughs> In fact, it's not true at all and a lot of people with depression, they tend to hide it. Like, I've all along been hiding it. Everybody thought I was a happy-go-lucky person but all my smile and my laughs were all fake. Really, they were all fake. <laughs> and every night, I would cry by myself from all the things that is going on in my head. Um, it's not under my control. I don't want it. I can't help it. And I have, I must admit that I have lost a few friends along throughout my life because of depression. They they can't, um, I wouldn't say they don't know how to handle it, but they will keep thinking, oh, why are you doing this? Why do you keep thinking like this? Um, why are you so negative? And it's not that, we want it, we don't want it, but it just keeps on coming and I will further explain later why it keeps on coming and how it keeps on coming. And a lot of people have a misunderstanding or just a stereotype of depression. A lot of people just tell me, oh, just don't feel so sad. Um, you just eat some... Um, have some ice cream or have cookie. It makes you feel better, happy, right? A sweet food, but it doesn't work that way. Okay, and it's not sadness. It's totally not sadness at all. Whoever tell me that, oh, depression, you're just sad. Just go eat something happy. Just do go do something that you like. But it's not as simple as it seems. It is not a sadness. I mean... It's not like as if like um some your loved one passed away or something upset you today and you just next day you wake up and or um, once you let it go it's you're happy again. It's not it's definitely not something like that. It's not so simple as just 
being sad or even some people might think is it because you're disappointed or you have failures in life but it's not really disappointed or failures in life because you can see that there are a lot of successful people they have family they have career but why do they suddenly just commit suicide and out of no reason nobody knows why the person just commits suicide and it's not as simple as oh you fail you're a failure you're disappointing all the time disappointed and that's why you have depression it's not true at all once i explain uh, further what it's like ha to be having a depression you will definitely understand what i'm talking about so actually uh i really thirsty so okay i want to share with a lot of people especially your friends who encouraged me to do this video to help them understand it better so uh how it feels like to have depression okay I would say that if you have a uh, depression, it would be like having, I wouldn't say bipolar, but you will have like something like a Goliath that's following you around and inside your head. And if something happens, for an example, um, anything Anything that happens, for example, when you're walking on the street and you get bumped into, Goliath may just come out of nowhere and just attack you and just say to you, Oh, you know why that person who just walked past you bumped into you? Do you know why? Uh, Goliath will say something like that in your head, okay? It will have, um, you start attacking you, you feel you will feel like um, you shouldn't be alive. Like, the person bumped into me because um, they feel like I shouldn't be alive. I'm too ugly or I'm too um, not pretty. I'm not... It just makes you feel like you, sh you should just die. Because you would think your mental, you your head will keep telling you that um, that person bumped into you because um, you shouldn't be alive. You should just die. It's, you keep thinking, is it because you are ugly or a lot of things. A lot of things just can come out. And it can happen anytime, anywhere. Even at work. For example, a boss just... Um, or you may be... It may be customers or your boss maybe not very happy with you when you did a mistake or whatever and then you keep thinking oh why am I so stupid I'm so stupid I shouldn't be alive it's it's and it breaks you down it's like crying and it's the Goliath when it attacks you it gives you a lot a lot of negativity and to fight it off it's like you know if people know, you know, Goliath is like a two meter tall guy that nobody has the strength to fight with. He's such a big, giant, built guy. To fight him off is like you're trying to use up all your strength and energy trying to fight him off. It's not easy. It's definitely not easy. It would drain up all your mental energy just to focus yourself not to think that way and not to think about commit suicide because almost all the time it keeps coming back. Um, uh, also, a lot of people tell me does keeping busy makes you think less negativity? Actually, it doesn't. Really, <laughs> it does not help at all. I mean... You can be really focusing, doing your job, and then all of a sudden you're crying. All of a sudden you have a mental breakdown and you're crying. Goliath is um, it's in your head again, it's saying that uh, you're weak, you shouldn't be doing this job, this job sucks, or whatever. It's not just like a normal, this job 
is not good <laughs> but it's more like you'll be thinking you'll be working and you have stress in your work if you have stress in your work if you if you have stress in your work it's gonna make you worse because stress is additional mental energy on your mental health and you got Goliath on the other side and Goliath is like trying to pull you away from work it has all sort of um, things going on in your head it can be insecurities or stress actually definitely worsen it because Goliath will use your weakness in your head against you it can be Anything that goes on, maybe even a family dispute, you would think that, oh, my family are not supportive of me, uh, even though they are, but you just don't feel like they are very supportive, even though they try very hard to support you. Sometimes, um, you just don't feel that way, and you just break down and cry, um, or even commit suicide because it's just... I ever, I, I ever, when I was a kid, I think maybe around 12 or 13, I'm not sure, I think around 12, I had stolen, uh, I used to stay in a HDB on the 18th floor, I have stolen the keys to the window, I'm a person who is afraid of height, and I have taken the keys to the window, and I was hoping that my maid would go into the shower, and while she would shower, I would leap off. The building. Opened the window and leaped off the building. But the thing was, she caught... I mean, she noticed that the keys disappeared before she go into the shower. And she asked me if I saw the key. Because I was the only one in the house. I have to be the person... Uh, to, I had to be the only person with the keys, right? So, she took the keys away from me and I never had the opportunity to jump. So, I'm glad I'm alive. I wouldn't be say that I'm happy that I have depression. It's not a good thing because it's very draining on the health. You can't sleep at night. You have difficulty eating. I have... I would say that most people when they have depression, they wouldn't eat. But mine's the opposite. I end up eating more than what normal people could handle. And I ended up eating a lot of food, gorging myself, just to feel satisfied. But at the end of the day, it does not help. <laughs> so, uh, so actually, it's not a good thing also. Because when you eat more, you gain weight more. It's natural, right? And that gives me a very poor self-esteem. And it, of course, it makes it worse. It will definitely make it worse because you have less less self confidence. You feel like you have less confidence. You wouldn't, if anything happened, you would feel like you know nobody loves you. You would feel like nobody's there for you. You're too ugly to be alive. You're too fat to be alive, and all these kind of things. Goliath will be there attacking you, and he can come on anytime he wants. In the shower, at school. When you're exercising, or you're in the exam room, uh, you're doing your work. It can be also during your free time. Uh, I would definitely say, um, for you to fight depression, it's not easy. If you can, you can see a doctor. If you can't, like me, I... I have, I did a lot, I tried a lot of positive thinking, I went through a lot of quotes, a lot of positive quotes, a lot of Bible verses, and a lot of mental energy. Every time Goliath do anything negative or attack me in any negative way, I would use a positive affect by thinking, trying as hard as possible not to think that way and just use positivity to fight against it. I would say that 
I no longer have those mental breakdown but if I meet anybody who keeps giving me um negativity I would still <laughs> I would still get a breakdown because um due to the fact that Goliath still able to come out because I I use positivity enforcement to remove the negativity but if if somebody keep pushing me negativity thoughts and negativity things I, I would still break down but if under normal circumstances I would definitely say I have overcome uh, the, the depression and Goliath no longer can <laughs> make me or push me in my head in my mental um mentally to do anything to kill myself definitely um but it's definitely not uh something as simple as you think that you just um you just feel sad it's not it you can be not thinking about anything you can be in your quiet moments sometimes quiet moments help but Sometimes it just comes on, especially when you are working, you are stressed and a lot of issue. Um, it can still come on and it has no... It doesn't tell you when it's going to come, it just comes. And it will stop you from doing anything, stop you from thinking the way you want. It will just give you all the negativity, thoughts and... That's how you go. And usually a lot of... I've seen a lot of uh, people... Uh, suicide awareness videos. And people who tell me... People who survived the ordeal of committing suicide. Will tell me that... Um, will tell me that... Oh, uh, it's not a good thing. Because when you decide to take your own life... Let's say you decided to jump into the water um, through the bridge. When you are jumping into the water, they said that they really regret that they ended their life. They, they don't, don't want it anymore, but they are already on the way down. And But however, they managed to survive because it's water at the bottom. There's a chance you may survive, but there's a high chance that you won't as well. <laughs> because it's a high bridge and all the way down to the water there is an impact and that impact could kill you as well it's not just because the water swept you away it's the impact that kills you it's not just because it's ground you jump you won't kill yourself and people who take um chemicals to kill themselves those who survive will tell you don't do that those um who didn't I I have no idea what they would think they didn't survive. And it's not easy to go through depression. A lot of people think, oh, it's just you're being upset. You're just disappointed in life. You just fail your exam or fail something. It's not as simple as that. If it's as simple as that, I'm pretty sure there's no depression. Yeah. It's not so simple as feeling sad. You just eat something and you feel better. Or spray whipped cream in your mouth and you think you feel better? No, it doesn't help. And I definitely hope that through my video, um, people will be able to understand depression more. It is not a sadness. I mean, if you feel sad, you just you do something you like in in... A few minutes or a few hours and you'll be happy, right? You let let it go and you'll be happy again. But for depression, it's not. It's, you can't even enjoy what you usually like to do. You don't have the mood to do it. Um, you feel everything that is trying to help you is all useless. You would think that way and you would think nothing but negativity because of Goliath. It's not actually a goliath but it's just like a storm or like a 
darkness that comes over into your head and it covers your head with negativity thinking to commit suicide it's not just any negativity thinking but it's just strictly commit suicide and you don't deserve a life you have no life you are useless in this world and you should just die but obviously a lot of people don't know that they think it's just that you just feel upset and disappointing that you want to kill yourself but it's not definitely not as simple as that and it definitely takes up a lot of energy to fight Goliath a lot of people don't understand that but yeah you do take up a lot of energy to fight him off fight it off I mean <laughs> fight it off and to be a better person I wouldn't blame anyone for my depression or I mean even though it's due to a lot of events that keep happening over the years um, I don't think that it has made me into a crazy person or in fact I, it makes me understand depression more and it makes me have more sympathy to those who have depression to those who are dealing with uh, mental illness as such as depression because it's, it can affect anybody who is healthy looking and who is smart and successful it can affect them as well it's not just somebody with a weak mind yep I hope my videos will help a lot of people bring this awareness and to understand more about depression if you have any question or any comments please feel free to comment and please like and subscribe to my video thank you see you bye bye